Almost in College Race Day coming to a close with the running of Race 8 this afternoon. This is the Gold Class Cleaning Class 6 over 1110. Gold Class Cleaning specialising in building and industrial cleaning services. And proud to support today's Almost in College Race Day. As they load away, a check on the market for Race 8. And we have Double Image at $6.50, DeJet 360, Jungle Heat is at $8.50. Nikki Era $17, DB9 at $16, The Dozen Stars $9, I'm Cool is the Favourite quoted at $2.40, Run With Me $16, Mariana at $18 and Temple Street $101. I'm Cool is Favourite $2.40 with bookmakers on the tote now at $2.40 and $1.60. Just two to move in for the final event over the flying 11 10 metres, Run With Me and a jet to come forward. Eleven ten. Run with me goes in. And the speedy Dejet, who with the bookies is four sixty into three sixty, a sizable move. The last one to come forward. Hunter sweating on the magic of Damien Brown from a wide draw with Dejet. Right on Rod, set for the last here at Doombin. Good go on track for Dejet. It's in a full dollar. Set away in the last. Marianne near the inside and I'm Cool begin brilliantly and going fast down the outside there we've got Double Image. Oh, the Jets missed the start today, it's back about fourth last, round the first turn and I'm Cool and Double Image are in the battle going to the 850 metre corner with Double Image going to the front, three quarters in front of I'm Cool who's a jockey seems content to take the trail. DD, DB9's in third outside Marianne, followed there by the Dozen Stars and then came to Jet. Run With Me is a long way back coming to the turn, followed by Temple Street, then came Jungle Heat who's one of the last with Nicky Era. Double image on the home turn, 400 metres to go, leads a length and a half to I'm Cool. They're followed in third placing by DB Niners, heads a turn for home, it's coming to the outside to try and put itself into the picture. Back behind those came to Dozen Stars and then came to Jet, 300 metres to go. Double image over on the inside, I'm Cool gets a split in the centre now and goes up to it. I'm Cool on the outside is DB9, but I'm Cool went for home, got away by a length. DB9 tries ever so hard, Mariana's running on gamely out of the pack. In front is I'm Cool, close to home, and I'm Cool won the last from Mariana. DB9 third, fourth, either Run With Me or the early leader, uh, Double Image. Then came wider out on the track was the Dozen Stars, followed there by Jungle Heat, and then Run With Me, Temple Street. The Jet finished well back in the field alongside there of Nikki Era. I'm Cool's won the last. Number 11, I'm Cool, Kirk Matheson. Well, didn't have to lead to win as it was, uh, as it panned out. Getting the lovely gap, one off the rail at the 200 metres mark. I'm cool, went to them quickly. And has got the prize. Mariana weaving between runners to get second. And DB9 in third placing. So we're looking at 11, 13 and 8. I'd say there it is. 11, 13, 8 and 12 got fourth run with me. 11, 13, 8 and 12. 11, 13, 8 and 12. I'm cool. Kirk Matheson for Desley Forster. For the Washpool Thoroughbreds Proprietary Limited. Manager is Mrs. L. R. Langbecker. And I'm cool. Home to victory here in 14.48 as we find out more from Wayne and the Indian Coast. now. What's oh, yeah. happening here? Awesome. Okay, you're on, you're on. Thank you, boys. We've got uh, plenty of excitement down here in the enclosure. And Desley Forster's joining us. How are you, Desley? Good, thank you. Satisfying victory? Yeah, no, it was a nice victory today. No, it yeah. was really good. And form line through the previous winners someday. Yeah, exactly. As I said, he's probably unlucky to beat, get beat last start. Just a few things went, went, didn't go his way. He'd done all the hard work yeah. and someday got the shot, but that's racing. He did the right thing today, the horse, and the jock did the right thing. I thought he'd lead, but when Double Image put it on you early, I thought the horse and the jock played the part well. Yeah, no, as I said to Kurt, we didn't really want to lead. He gets in the front and gets a bit lost when he gets out in front. He's a better chaser, so it was good that double image led. And I thought the jet might well, let him, but he double image led and made it even better for him. Mm. And in the straight, you must have been proud of him because he was still there with a couple, 250 out, but he pulled right away. Yeah, no, he's a nice horse, Wayne. Yeah. So he'll go home now to, back to Washpool and they'll look after him and then they'll work out where we go from here. All right, and a well-known media personality said, unplaced today. I found that a bit surprising. 
Yeah, um, I did too, but so that's okay. I said everyone's got their opinions, but as I said, he's the first to congratulate me, so it's okay. <laughs> Good on you, Desley. Well done, and congratulations on the win. Okay, boys. Thank you, Wayne. We'll be back shortly to hear more about the I'm Cool story with winning jockey Kirk Matheson, who's just unsaddling in the enclosure. Let's take a look at the bookmaker's starting prices and tope returns on race eight today. The gold class cleaning handicap won by I'm Cool, returned by bookmakers at 2.45 and favourite. Mariana second at $21 and DB9 third at $16. $2.45 and favourite, $21.16 were the starting prices. I'm Cool on the tote pays $2.60 to win, $1.30 the place. Mariana second at $4.80, DB9 third at $3.90. Quinella has paid $41.60, the exacta $35.90 and the trifecta $556.20. Fourth in the race was Run With Me. The first four, 11, 13, 8 and 12, pays $3,493.80. Brisbane Daily Double today returns on 11 and 11. Someday and I'm Cool, the popular way, at $6.30. Treble today, 1, 11, 11, pays on Attica, Someday and I'm Cool, $39.40. And the Brisbane Quadrilla, 2, 1, 11 and 11, better than ready. Attica, Someday and I'm Cool has paid $88.10. Let's go back to Wayne in the enclosure. Okay, thank you, Tony. We've got Kirk Matheson with us. I was just giving you a rap to Desley, saying that you allowed the other one to go to the lead in the early stages of the race when they put pressure on you. Yeah, like, I thought Tegan wanted to go a little bit hard, so I was just happy to take the sit. And I thought he went better today with a bit of cover, you know. I just switched out off of heels about the 600 and just let him truck into it, and he went nice. Yeah. When he, when he moved into it, he went to the leader, and then DP9 came up on your outside. Were you... Are you still idling at that stage? Well, he's, uh, he seems to be a bit of a fighter to me. Like, he, he doesn't mind a bit of a fight when there's other horses around. He got to the front and he sort of half thought his job was done, but, like, he, I think he's a pretty nice horse. He's, he's not showing his full potential at the moment because he's sort of half switching off when he's getting to the front. But, um, no, it was a nice win. He's done the job for you today. Well, well done and a good ride too, Kirk. Thanks very much. Kirk Matheson there. Thank you, boys. Thank you, Wayne, and to Priscilla and Nathan with our coverage of racing today on Ormiston College Race Day on BRC TV. Margins a long neck by three quarters by one on the final event. The time 104.48 with the sectional breakdown 34.79, 23.69 and 12.26. Let's see the race in replay to wrap up our day. I'm cool winning here for Kirk Matheson in the final race.